Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Megan and today I'm going to tell you how I lost 40 pounds without any exercise or dieting. Okay, before I do that, I'm going to tell you a little of my mental and health history. Um, I started off when I was born. I was a regular healthy child, baby. <laughs> um, once I was like three or four, my mom put me in dance, gymnastics, so I was an active child. And by the time I was in elementary school, I was in basketball, I was doing some cheerleading, I was in five pitch. So I just stayed very active as a child. I was also, I would stay out on my big trampoline as a child and jump for many, many hours, um, like every day. So I stayed very, very active. And then once I hit junior high, I um, added on track. And funny story about track. I actually, when I was in young elementary, we would have like little track meets for the elementary school. And I was actually always came in first, except one, one time I was actually a shy little girl. And I, there was a girl who actually got in my lane and instead of, Instead of me like pushing her out of my lane or getting into her lane, I just stayed behind her. So I came in second. But anyway, <laughs> in junior high, I always said, oh, well, by the time I got into like fourth grade, I was, I was slow. And in junior high, I always told myself I would never come in last. I, I, would, I would do not want to come in last. Never would. And then I never did. And never came in last. And actually, one time, uh, they called heats. I can't even remember anymore. Um, I came in second in my heat. And I uh, came to a lady who was at the end. I said, did I come in second? And she was like, well, in your heat. But overall, I was like, I don't care about that. I'm just happy that I came in second. So, um, yeah, that's a little more history than you probably care to hear. But anyway, I just want to kind of give you a little extra um about my um health and fitness in case you're anything like me but um also i've also oh cross country i um uh, was working out with the cross country girls the very first day of their first workout and of course the girls were all faster than me and they finished quite a bit faster than me and the coach came up to me afterwards she said you're just working out with us, right? And needless to say that um, I was like, yeah, initially, and I um, didn't come back. <laughs> so anyway, um, but around junior high and middle school area is when I started noticing my first um, obsessive compulsive disorder. Um, I would turn around and in school and to make sure I didn't leave anything behind. And that's kind of the first thing I learned that I noticed. Make sure I wasn't leaving like my backpack or my purse or a book or something. Then I was also, I think around seventh grade, I started having my first panic attacks and anxiety attacks before like athletics or something because I wanted to make my coach proud and I I guess I admired her and this I always wanted to give my best and um, I wanted her to be proud of me so and I wasn't the best runner I mean I wasn't bad I pretty athletic but it wasn't like I came kind to of running I wasn't the best and um, but I always gave my best I said best like five pounds but anyway so but I was always scared that I was gonna like faint or a bunch of girls would always throw up because we just ran and ran until we almost couldn't run, run anymore and um this is how we conditions ourselves and i was running like you know three miles a day and and then in the heat of the day i'll be outside practicing basketball or stuff like that I was also doing tennis and two, so I was staying active. Um, 
I was also <laughs> in eighth grade. My coach didn't like this very much, but um, I started getting into like mod some little modeling things. Um, I was missing some practices and stuff on the weekends when I should have been doing like basketball and stuff like that. I was doing some modeling things. So, but I mean, I just wanted to say I want that I tried it because. I didn't want to go later on in my life and be like, why didn't I try it? Because I was like super skinny because I ran all the time. I ate really healthy. It, um, I never ate any anything unhealthy until the weekend. I wasn't eating like candy. I wasn't drinking any like caffeine or anything like that. Any sugary drinks. Only the weekends did I have like one or like one piece of candy or something like that. So I was at that time I was on like a strict diet on myself so I got pretty skinny but yeah I was starting to get depressed and around that time and I was also had my anxiety was up um I was starting to notice my OCD a lot more and the stuff little things around the house actually that got a lot worse when I was adult too so I actually went and saw a psychiatrist who put me on Paxil and Paxil actually made me start gaining a little weight and that's not good for a teenage girl <laughs> um, Especially since going I was going to high school. I actually switched schools. I went to um, well Halfway through eighth grade year. I switched and went to a private school and for many different reasons I ended up going to a different school and um, I was still doing basketball and tennis there but then in high school, I ended up going to actually a rival of my elementary and junior high. And um, I was still doing basketball and track and tennis. So still being active for the first couple of years. And by my sophomore year, I was, I played so much basketball and I was so, like my life was just basketball, basketball, basketball and working out and all this stuff. By the time I was freshman or sophomore I was just like I can't do anymore uh, and I was also in band and with this new school I had was we really actually in one state we were invited to like all these big places to because we were really good and we were actually really intense in marching we would actually do a lot of running so we stay in shape a lot of shape doing that I wasn't running my like three miles anymore but uh I just had I had to get I couldn't do the athletics anymore so that plus being on some Paxil I was starting to gain a little weight and then just being in high school I was, probably wasn't eating the healthiest that I could be I wasn't on my regimen of eating only unhealthy stuff on the weekends so so I started gaining a little weight then um, by the time I was in college um, I know people say that you gain, what, college 10, college 15? How about college 50? <laughs> um, I was in some not so great relationships. I, I dated a lot. I'm not going to say that it was all relationships because I've definitely made some bad decisions myself. Um, one being when you're a server in college and then you get off at midnight and the only thing that's open is Taco Bell and did they, I don't even know if they still do this but Taco Bell had like midnight or late night menu which is not good for one college student <laughs> or servers because I would go home or I would get off work at like midnight or whatever and, and go get some Taco Bell and I would always joke that it smelled like dog food but I would still eat it because I was hungry <laughs> and so that didn't help the me um, not gaining weight but um eventually I wised up and I actually moved in with my grandparents my grandfather was actually going through cancer so my sweet grandmother she um she was actually making two meals she was making like um fried chicken for my grandfather because he needed to gain weight and then she was over there making me um, grilled chicken to help me lose weight 
And then I, again, I was trying to start running again. I never got up to um, like three miles. I think I got up to like a mile or, oh no, that, I lie. I did eventually get up to three miles again running. So I was starting to lose my weight again. But I was still going, it's hell having my mental like anxiety and some depression too. And then eventually I ended up moving out again and going to a different college um, in a different town. And you know, I dated a few more people and then I um, eventually met David. We were both working out. And <laughs> then we would, um, after workout, we would eat Oreos. That, that was my bad. David would come over to my apartment and he would joke because since I was a preschool teacher, I had like a lot of brownies and candy. And um, during a teacher appreciation week, kids and their parents would just give me little gifts and stuff. And there's like, I'd always get a lot of little goodies. But a lot of stuff that I brought home from the preschool, I didn't eat. <laughs> they just sat there um, until I threw it out. Except my Oreos after my workout. And so I thought they would kind of like balance each other out. But no, we, we ended up kind of um, gaining some weight. And, and unfortunately, by the time we got married I had gained my weight back and uh, of course I thought I looked pretty in my wedding dress but now when I look back at my pictures I'm like I wish I had lost that weight before I had gotten married I wish I I hadn't yo-yoed up I guess you could say because I was definitely um at one of my heavier weights and so unfortunately I know my, my wedding pictures are definitely beautiful, but I just wish I had been a little bit more on the healthier looking side. And unfortunately, I did not lose the weight before I got pregnant. <laughs> so I just added on a little more weight. And then um, I lost a little bit after I had my first child. But then, um, and I didn't gain like tons of weight. Uh, I think I gained within the normal amount, but you know, you always do gain a little bit when you're pregnant. And then with my second child, I did the exact same thing and I hadn't really lost any weight between the two. So, um, but I ended up with gestational diabetes with my second child. So once I was, had her, my I sat down with my doctor and she was just like, are you ready to lose some weight? And I was like, yes, let's do this. And um, she was trying to get me to you know to exercise some and I just hadn't been successful at it. I don't know if it's because, I mean, having two kids isn't a an excuse. Um, yes, you're busy, but if you really want it bad enough, you can do it. But it, I guess I was using an excuse. Um, so, um, she started talking, well, first we had to get me because I was still depressed and still anxious. I actually got off my medication, probably, the, well, Paxil got off probably in high school. And then I was put on some other medication, I can't even remember, some time probably in early college. And I just, um, and I got off of it and I just never got back on it. So she was just like, well, let's get your anxiety and let's get your depression. It's mostly the anxiety. Um, let's get all that under control first. So we worked through that. And finally we got that to a place where I could handle it. Well, I was never like really, really bad. But it was enough where it was affecting me like my everyday. So I got that under control. And then, then she was like, okay, now let's start working on your weight loss. So here, this is part where all of y'all were party here for. The first thing she said, well, let's try um, doing some shots. And I was like, shots? Okay, I'm gonna give myself some shots. <laughs> so, she actually gave me Saxinda. And 
this part this is a sample she gave me and it is an injection you do um, I never use this one but I'll just show you what it is I was actually supposed to give it back to her sorry but um, I um, ended up not putting it in the refrigerator and I was like I guess it went bad but <laughs> it's, um, but it's good for y'all because now y'all get to see what it looks like um, But um, you put a little needle in here, and then and then you push out the medicine. It comes out there when you inject yourself. And this, I think they usually think you should do it with in your stomach. That's where I do it, or your thigh. But I always just do my stomach. And then here is these are 32G tip Nova Fine. These are the needles. It comes with seven needles. Let's see, let me get the one up for you. So they come like this. And we can't really see it until you put it in the thing. But yeah. There's a little needle. You can't really see it. It's very, very fine. But it's in there. And you just put it on here. And you just inject yourself. Actually, I, ha I made David do it because I was too chicken to do it. Even though when I had to just stay small diabetes and I had to check my blood <laughs> on my fingers, I didn't let him do it. I was too... Uh, he wanted to do it, but I was like, no, I'm going to do it. So I always did my own finger pricking. But anyway, for some reason, my insurance would not pay for sex in the because it's actually not even a weight loss medicine. It actually is for, I want to say it's actually for people with diabetes, I think. And it helps with their blood sugar. So she was like, well, let's try this other brand. My doctor said it for some reason, sometimes insurance will use, will not do Sexinda, but they'll do um, Ozempic. So Ozempic. Ozempic is actually the brand that I end up using, and it's pretty much the exact same thing. You come with the needle or the pin and the needle. It just squeezes out the injection when you have the needle. You put it on the end. So pretty much the exact same thing. Um, again. It's not usually, it's not made for a weight loss, but they actually just came out. My doctor told me they actually came out where they, it's a practically this, it is Ozempic, but it's actually named after, like I tell you, it's a different name, but it has been approved for weight loss. And she said, well, Ozempic and Osexinda and this new one have all the results, she said as bariatric weight loss surgery so i was like okay let's do this <laughs> so with um ozempic plus i'm also on topamax it is um another medicine not for weight loss but <laughs> um actually i when i told i said something on facebook about it i think and one of my friends from high school got on there and she said be careful with Topamax because she was on it and she lost a lot of weight and um, she said she wasn't even trying to lose weight she was on it for something else and, and but she also got kidney stones so I was like I went to my doctor I was like I don't want kidney stones and um, but then I started thinking back my friend she did have some issues in her when, when she was younger with her kidneys but I researched I googled it and people do have may have some issues with kidney stones being on Tobamax but I'm on such a low dose that I shouldn't have any issues with that so with being Ozempic and Tobamax put together that is supposed to help me lose the weight and I will tell you let me look up what each of them are supposed to do Topamax 
Topa mats causes weight loss because it affects the appetite. People who take it have reduced appetite, may feel hungry less, often they eat less because of this. Studies have shown that Topamax may also speed up metabolism, which means that the body burns calories more quickly. And then Ozempic, okay, it, it says Ozempic is a drug that controls blood sugar and can be taken to assist in weight loss. This drug works by slowing down how fast your stomach, stomach empties food, blocking hormones that cause the liver to release sugar. Together, these combined actions cause the feeling of hunger to decrease, which leads to eating less and finally weight loss. So, with these two together, I really don't feel hungry. And um, I said I don't diet, which I eat pretty much anything I want. And I'm still losing weight, especially there at, at the beginning. I anything I wanted. It's starting to kind of slow down now because I've been on it for over a year, but by the beginning, that didn't matter at all. So, <laughs> but um, the only diet I guess I did was the intermittent dieting my, my doctor recommended and I was not eating before noon and I wasn't always real strict on that, like not eating past 8. Sometimes I did eat past 8. And now I've kind of moved it up to 11 and and sometimes I eat like 9 or 10. So I'm not real strict on that still. I'm still, um, I'm still staying the same weight and, and, there, and I lose a little here and there. So, and, and I don't do a whole lot of exercise. <laughs> um... I do recommend if you do want to lose weight, and even my doctor, she actually wants me to work out, but um, I just, I just not, haven't worked out since like high school, as you, or I guess college, uh, I haven't ran, I, well I take that back, I go off and on running, but I haven't really since I've had kids, so, but just working out and combining with these two medicines, I think you'd probably lose more than 40 pounds. I mean, I'm not a doctor, so I can't like guarantee that. I do recommend you sitting down with your doctor and just talking through what you want. Um, I mean, of course, if, to get these medications, you have to go through a doctor. I went through my gynecologist, my OBGYN. But again, it has worked miracles for me. Like all my family, all my friends are just like, Megan, well, you're looking great makes me feel good mentally, physically I feel great. Um, and again, add in some exercise, you're going to probably do a lot faster. You're probably going to, like I said before, not guaranteed, but if I had done it, I probably would have lost 50 pounds maybe, maybe more, maybe not, but you know, I'll never know. But um, that is something I, I'm going to be doing now. I, my plan now this year is to start exercising. My doctor wants me to add in some steps. You know, the goal is to do 10,000 steps a day. We'll see. <laughs> right now my goal is to like 5,000 a day. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start doing like some exercising. I actually, some of my favorite exercise is the ab workouts that is I used to do that workout when I first met, met David and one of my f best friends after I did it for like six weeks she was like Megan your butt looks perky what are you doing because <laughs> it works out your abs it works out your whole body so that's a great exercise that I want to start doing again and also Diamond Dallas Page's yoga the DTP yoga his, the wrestler, wrestler's um, yoga, his, I, his yoga is great. It's not like the regular yoga, like your mom's yoga. It's, um, he helps people from, that can't walk to start walking again. It's, it's, um, I, I highly recommend those two workouts. So, I'm going to start doing those again because I highly enjoyed those. So maybe next year I'll be doing another video and I'll be I'll be telling you about the, the about the weight that I 
wanted to lose the rest of the weight that I want to lose. Maybe I'll hit that goal. And I'll see y'all in that video next year. Alright, if y'all like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss any of my other videos. I do plan on staying in touch and telling y'all what I'm doing. And I do plan on starting to eat healthy. I do plan on starting to exercise. But just to show you, if you're lazy like me, you can still lose weight. But if you want to get your little booty in gear, you can even lose more weight. Because... I'm going to do that this year. That's what I'm promising myself. I'm going to do that this year. Let me know if this video helped you at all. So, down in the comments. Alright. Thanks, guys. See y'all next time. Bye.